Okay guys, so what I was actually talking about is adding a second scale factor and like let's say that my previous scale factor was 0.2. So that gives me wiggle room within the texture of 0.8. So what I did was, and this is clumsy but I, I wanted it to be functional not optimized. I took a random number between 0 and 100 divided by 100 so that gives you 0 to 1 times that by 1 minus the scale factor that was just computed, right? So let's say it was 0.2. So now this is going to be 0.8 and then this will be a random number between 0 and 0.8 and that gets configured in and sent to the fragment shader. So then I just add it to the texture coordinate and then the result is all the cubes of the same size are rendered at different intervals so you're not getting an identical cube. See these cubes are the same size but the rendering is sampled from a different spot in the texture. Okay. Anyways that's just a quick little optimization I wanted to share. Thanks for watching.